people opened the lid floor of this basement, then they saw a shocking scene, a large black bear's head was exposed. Looking at it, it looked a little tired. People got closer and found that there were three small black bear cubs living inside. Why were there so many bears in the basement? What did these bears want to do? Where did they all come from? And what would happen after this? In Knoxville, Tennessee, a man's house had a gas leak, and because he had to repair the gas line, he contacted a repairman to come and fix it. The man and the repairman worked together to open the basement floor and they found a surprisingly large black bear living under the man's house. It was a hibernating female black bear as well as three tiny black bear cubs. Everyone was stunned to see the scene in front of them, and they couldn't believe their eyes. But these kind people were surprised and promptly called the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, who were the first to contact the rescue workers. The rescuers came to the man's home and looked into the basement and surmised that the bear had caused damage to the gas pipes in order to give itself and its children a warm place to hibernate, which in turn led to a gas leak. But in fact, after the rescuers' observation and understanding, the space where the mother bear and cubs were currently located was not suitable for them to hibernate, especially if there was a gas leak, the mother bear and cubs would be harmed. So in order to be able to carry out repairs smoothly, as well as out of concern for the health of the black bear's family, the rescuers needed the this bear to take its children away and let them find a new place to hibernate. Considering that the mother bear might not be able to find a suitable new hibernation site in a short time, the rescuers decided to build a small cabin for the bear family to hibernate temporarily in the nearby forest. The mother bear was finally overwhelmed by the human harassment and left the man's basement overnight, but carelessly left its three children in the man's basement. Unable to predict when the mother would return, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency decided to temporarily take charge of the cubs, who had not yet opened their eyes. Rescuers took the three cubs to the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine for treatment, and after examination the cubs were all female. Fortunately, the mother bear took good care of the three cubs, who were all round and in good health. The staff then took good care of the cubs and waited patiently for the mother bear to return and hand them back to it. In case the mother bear would never return. The staff also set out to find a wild bear that could become the cub's new family but surprisingly, a few days later, the mother bear reappeared on the man's doorstep, having returned to look for its children. The man looked at the emaciated face of the mother bear and rushed to dial the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency to contact rescuers to hurry up and return the three small black bear cubs to the mother bear. The cubs were then returned and reunited with their mother. After being reunited with its children, the mother bear actually came out under the house and gazed deeply at the man, as if to express its gratitude to him for not hurting its children, the mother and cubs were sent to hibernate in a temporary shelter after this. And they adapted quickly and seemed to like the temporary house that the humans had built for them. I have to say, it's a good thing the men found them early, otherwise the bears might have been in danger if they had been hibernating in the basement for a long time. I believe that when spring comes, they would go back to live in the wild again. Animals in trouble would also ask for help from humans, we humans as the animals who have the highest IQ, should help animals through difficult times. Like the following story of the mother deer and the young man, the picture of humans and animals helping each other is too loving, in Cherokee County, USA, a merganser cub was stuck in a fence behind a house and couldn't move. Outside the fence stood an adult female merganser who looked very anxious and who was supposed to be the mother of the merganser cub. The merganser cub, who was stuck inside the fence, was so frightened that it was screaming as if to say, Mom, help me. Come and save me. I'm so scared. The mother merganser was so anxious but it couldn't save its baby. I believe it wished it had a pair of dexterous and powerful hands so that it could save the merganser cub. So the mother merganser thought of asking for help from humans. Although it knew that humans were very dangerous, they would always end up hunting its own compatriots with shotguns, the current situation was that only humans could help itself and its baby the mother merganser eventually took the risk of finding a man nearby to help itself. 
And at first the man was puzzled, he didn't understand how a merganser could suddenly appear in front of him. The mother told the man to follow it with its body language. Although the man still didn't know the reason. The mother merganser's anxious look and his intuition told him that something must have happened, so he immediately followed the mother merganser to the fence where the merganser cub was trapped, the man at first did not see the location of the merganser cub. Only to hear the merganser cub's panic screams, he was still in the mother merganser's guidance to find the merganser cub was stuck in the corner of the fence. The man realized the seriousness of the problem as soon as he saw the merganser cub. And if he didn't get the merganser cub out, it was likely to suffocate and die. Because the merganser cub was stuck tightly in the gap between the fence and the house, it could not move, and its head and neck were almost bent to 90 degrees. The man rushed to open the fence. Probed down to fish the merganser cub, he soon rescued the merganser cub in danger, the merganser cub crumpled into a ball in the man's palm, shivering with fear as if it had not yet recovered from its near-death moment. The man hurriedly handed the frightened merganser cub to its mother, who was so excited that it kept sticking out its tongue to lick the merganser cub's cheeks and gently comforted it, as if to say, don't be afraid, mommy is here. The merganser cub also gradually calmed down under the comfort of its mother. This scene is so heartwarming, when the mother merganser was preparing to take its baby away, it looked back at the man from time to time, and its head nodded down from time to time. As if it was bowing to the man. It used this way to express its gratitude, I have to say that this mother merganser is very spiritual and polite, with the rapid development of human society, the survival environment of many animals is getting worse and worse. Not only do they have to accept the laws of nature's survival, but also they have to face a reduction in living space. They sometimes have to risk coming to the territory of human activities, and if they encounter human hunting, it would be more difficult for them to survive. Animals' lives are also worthy of reverence. They are also flesh and blood beings with feelings. We should start from ourselves to protect the surrounding ecological environment, so that we can also protect the wild animals. To protect the animals is actually to protect ourselves.